Good morning, good morning, Virgos. Good morning, universe. Good morning, collective. Good morning, divine feminine. Good morning, divine masculine. Yeah, I had to get this message out. Um, right now I'm listening to Destiny Link. Portrait. Um, I already had Chef with these cards. The first card that comes out, I'm going to just flip them up. Good vibes. So, someone going to come around you. Somebody going to come around you with good vibes, Virgo. So, definitely invite them in. Um, don't be so closed out. Don't be so mean. Um, and... Show more of your feminine side. I'm hearing show your feminine side. Show your more softer side. And tone down the aggressiveness is what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing. We have a drug addict on board. Someone is either a cokehead that you're dealing with or either you on a drug. If you on this drug, Virgo, um... Seek help if you can't go cold turkey. Seek professional help on how to break habits. And if you can, go cold turkey. Cut the drug out. Save you some money. This drug is very expensive. Anybody who's a cokehead know this is an expensive drug. We took my $200 for an eighth book. So you took them out of high expensive drug right there. Good sex. Someone got good sex, good vibes, but they a fucking cokehead, Virgo. And this person could be Virgo. Your energy is coming out double, Virgo. Double confirmation. Sex again. Somebody is very sexually active, that's a Virgo. And this person could possibly be a cokehead or could be dealing with someone that is a cokehead. I'm sorry to have this reading, but this is what the cards is pulling out. Libra. So we have two signs. We have a Libra and a Virgo. Good sex. Sex. A lot of sex. Good vibes. And a cokehead. So we got... A couple on board, a Virgo and a Libra, they could be having good sex, a lot of sex, and this person could be a cokehead with good vibes. Lesbian. A lesbian is on board. So this person could be a lesbian. So this could be a lesbian Virgo and a lesbian Libra who have good sex, a lot of sex, on drugs, cokeheads, and they both have good vibes. This couple or these, this lesbian couple like rocking old sneakers, old school sneakers, Pumas, Ditas, um, Air Max, Nikes. Those are old school sneakers. They could be on Avenue W. They could, w could mean something to them. They could have a dog. Or they like dogs. They could be a Sagittarius. We have three signs on board. Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius. More sex. Dominatrix sex. So this definitely... Uh, this definitely some lesbian gay stuff. Because the only people who have this much sex is lesbians and gay people. They love whips. Dominatrix sex. They love masks, whips, belts, tie-ups, um, candle burning, um, pouring the wax, um, choking, a lot of spanking. This is what lesbians be into. So if we got a Virgo, a Libra, and a Sagittarius. That could be a possibly a lesbian, cokehead. Passionate dislike. Hate. Somebody hates something. Someone is either 
hating this reading because all the information is coming out. I'm getting Aquarius, another sign. This is the most signs ever come out in my readings. Pissy elevator someone is dealing with. <clears throat> Somebody have city pussy. This means that this person gets around. They move around. Like we live in New York. So we got five boroughs. This person get around. Staten Island, Queens, Bronx, Manhattan, Long Island. This person is a liar. This person got love for you, deep affection. Pisces, another sign is out. Pisces energy, water is on board. We have water, air, earth, and fire. Winner, the winner card, someone is winning. Somebody talk too much. Somebody going to come around you, Virgo, talking too much. Virgo, your energy again, 911. This number is significant to me. That's my birthday. So the 911 card came out. Somebody might come at you with a one-night stand. Definitely, I get a lot of offers for one-night stands. So Virgo, be careful. Watch out for these dogs. They out here. They energy out here. <coughs> um, the energy is out here. Somebody's talking too much. Missing your scent. Somebody missing your scent. They keep, they burning candles. Wishing for you. Thinking about you. Burning candles. I hate when we are apart. This person hate being separated from you. Either this lesbian couple or because right now no kings came out, no queens came out. Stability house. Somebody is focusing on a house, their stability. Somebody focusing on paying their bills. This is a Leo energy. Wow, that's a lot of signs coming out. Wet pussy. All right, gay lifestyle. The guys is on board now. The gay man is on board. Secret lovers. A Gemini. Focusing on my money. All right, this is what I got for you guys. These are the signs. I'm going to ask the universe to give us some more information on these signs. I'm going to swipe these cards up and leave the signs out. And I'm going to get the tarot cards and see if we could get any information from the tarot cards from some of the hood words that we just had um, here. Excuse me, I have to get that chunk of coal out my throat. All right. I'm not good at shepherding, but I'm going to do the best that I can, you guys. All right, this one flipped over on me. We're going to take that one. That's the sun card, okay? Give us some information. Why did the uh, in Virgo reading the Libra came out, the Sagittarius came out, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces, and Gemini? What do these signs have to do with Virgo? Is this just energy that Virgo is collecting from these signs? Are these people in Virgo life? Are these family, friends? Who are these people? Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles. 
We got the Ace of Swords. We got the Six of Cups. We got the Ace of Wands. All right. Universe, give us some more information to help clarify these signs. Match these signs, match these energy. Why is Sagittarius, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, and Pisces in Virgo reading? I'm gonna take those cards and see what information I could possibly pull. Mm. Um, let me um, burn this because I feel this chunk and I be want to get that shit out of me, y'all. I can't help myself. I feel the mucus. I got to shoot that bitch out. And I got a stubborn one. <clears throat> oh, it won't come out. Anyway. The Nine of Pentacles, this represent the queen. This represents someone single, someone independent. Um, this is a Virgo, so we got double confirmation. Virgo energy, Virgo reading. So it's like three confirmation that this is someone single. This is someone that's by themselves. This is someone who's content. This is someone who's enjoying the fruits of their labor, enjoying their hard work. This is somebody who's living a luxury lifestyle. This is someone who stay treating themselves, buying themselves stuff, going out to eat movies, meeting up with friends, socializing, um, involved with the community, involved with um, politician, um, definitely have a strong relationship with their doctors, have a um, strong relationship with um, their children's schools, strong relationship with... Um, their family, their husband, their boyfriend, whoever. This is nine of pentacles, but this is a single nine of pentacles. She could have a boyfriend and she could have someone. But right now, on in, in my reading, this person is single. And this person is enjoying her solitude. This person don't want to be bothered. This person got the sun card out. A time of greatness, joy, and success, brilliant ideas lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine, thanking the divine for all the blessings that was given. That's a that's a must. You know, I thank the divine all the time every morning for allowing me to get up, to do my channel, to you know, reach out to people, to give out information positive information to kings and queens um letting people know you royalty you are the bloodline of kings and queens so we are the original bloodline nobody else in this earth was awarded to be kings and queens queen elizabeth in england she was not awarded to be a queen from god she was awarded to be queen from men that's a different type of law you know royalty to be crowned king and queen by the gods is a more higher. Because why? In the afterlife, we are still kings and queens. We may not be considered kings and queens in this world. But when we die, guess what? Them same people that pretend to be kings and queens, they're going to be in hell. And they're going to be really looking at the real kings and queens in heaven. And God made it that way where Hell could see heaven. He said, the people that's going to burn in hell are going to be watching you and you're glorious. And the only way these people can change that is by repenting. And God said, these people don't want to repent. They don't want to forgive us. They don't want to give back what they stole. So they're going to watch us eat in the afterlife. And in the afterlife, we live eternal. So it's a big difference. Remember, the human flesh is what holds the body down to gravity. If that ozone layer crack or, or a hole cut into that ozone layer, which they doing with the rockets keep going up, we are gravity. What's in the sky going to hit hard like missiles, like bombs coming down on us. Why? Because 
gravity. We're going to be pulling whatever's in the universe down. See, that shield around the earth is to protect us from the rocks, from hitting the earth. But since man been going up to earth, you know, up into the moon, trying to, you know, learn shit and trying to get to the gods, they actually break in our ozone layer. And what that do is put us under attack from what? The stars. Read Revelation. God said the stars start falling from the sky. If the stars start falling from the sky, that means our ozone layer had broke. And now it's coming down like missiles because why? Of the gravity. We learn about gravity in school. Y'all know what it is. We all learn this in eighth grade science. To be exact. So. That and then we have the king of swords. This king of swords. He brings ideas that may need refinement. Overcoming obstacles with faith. That everything will work out. Communicating clearly and constantly. Remain objective. This king is in his royal power. So we have a king on board that could be possibly interested in this single nine of pentacles who have the sun card on her hand, on her side. Then you have the six of cups. It could be somebody from your childhood that's coming back. Or, or you could be revisiting an old dream or, or, or plans that you had made in the past that's resurfering in your mind. You embracing your inner childhood, meaning you you uh, don't take things so serious. Um, you playful at times, joke around, play with your children, bring that um, happy energy, you know, the joyfulness, you know, get down there on the floor and play with your kids, play with the dollhouse, you know, um, read books, um, draw, paint with your children. This is the time while we got the Christmas break where you can spend more quality time with your children, your inner self, your inner child. You know, let your child know that you had fun as a kid. The return of people or romance from your past. Somebody romantic that you probably had a dream about is returning. They romanticizing how things used to be between you guys. And this person could be a water sign um, reminiscent, which could be the Pisces who we have on board. So Virgo, it could be a Pisces reminiscent, someone from your childhood. Um, then we have fire here, which is the um, Ace of Wands, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. So whatever you're passionate about, do it. That means you and your Sagittarius energy. So you're doing what you're passionate about. So that's the Sagittarius energy, which is fire. And then you have the dreamer. Someone is dreaming a new start, a new beginning. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside. And take a leap of faith is what the universe wants you to know, dreamers. We have the eight of uh, of cups, which was in a reversal. The need to move on, sneak, um, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. Uh, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities and Leaving home. So, in a reversal, this person could be um, not thinking about leaving home. Actually, this person could be going through it. Um, confused. Not knowing which way to go. Should I leave? Should I stay? Type of energy I'm getting. And that energy is, once again, water. Pisces. That's the only water sign on here is Pisces. And then we have water again. So strong Pisces in your energy, Virgo. Um, sensitive, overhearted, open hearted, excuse me, inexperienced, moody message regarding a relationship, new emotional experience, a romantic encounter, social invitation or events, and heightening your psychic abilities. 
So you're going to get a moody message regarding your relationship. And it could deal with this Pisces. New emotional experience. Um, you're going to feel some new emotion. You're going to be probably not wanting to be bothered with this person. And you probably want to. you thinking about leaving. you thinking about dreaming of a new start. And you're thinking about being single. Independent. So I'm going to try to get some more information. <coughs> that shit still ain't coming out. Okay, these cards right here is what I made myself, my own sayings, my own thoughts, and some quotes. Some of these is quotes that I, I got. Relationship quotes. So, let's see. I already have shuffled them, so I'm just going to cut them in half. And from there, we're going to go. I just want to get to a card that I don't have nothing on top. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to leave it right here. Let's see what these cards fell out. Not ready for a relationship. Someone is not ready for no relationship. When I'm with you, I feel perfect and powerful. So this person feel like they in a power energy when they around you um they love being around you because they they feel powerful they feel like their money is flowing right they feel like everything is going right for them when you in their energy but this person is not ready for a relationship beauty attract the eyes but personality catches the heart flirtatious someone is very flirtatious Doctor achieved greatness. Somebody just became a doctor. This person is protected by the most high God. I hope this is a good card. A true relationship is two unperfect people refusing to give up on each other. Someone not giving up on this relationship. They are fighting. Awakening. This is the hangman card. And a reversal, delay, resistance, st um, stalling, indecision. So someone is in, in, in doubts. Someone don't know which way they want to go. They delaying shit. They resisting, you know, being stubborn, um, not um, going along, not going along with the flow. They staying still. You understand? They they are um, basically comfortable where they at. And they're causing delays. You probably want to move to the next level, but you got this person causing delays. They resistant. Whatever you say, they feel like you against them. They feel like you um attacking them. They feel like you attacking their family, their friends. Shopping every day. They watching you shop every day. Always um, in, a, in your abundancy. Love like there's no tomorrow, and if tomorrow comes, love again. Keep loving until you can't love no more. The appearance of a man is an illusion. The heart of a man lasts a lifetime. It sure do. Because if he, he kind-hearted and he nice, he gonna always be kind-hearted and nice. But if you get one of them fake pretenders, trust and believe, they gonna will you in, and then a year later, the motherfucker ain't gonna contribute, ain't gonna do shit. They'll will you in with gifts, money to get your hair done, your nails done, even probably buy you sneakers. After a year or two of being in the relationship, the motherfucker feel like you owe them. So be very careful of the pretenders. And if you come across somebody like that, be prepared to leave their ass in the motherfucking dust. Be ready to leave their ass in the dust when they come with the bullshit. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Bills don't stop, baby. Them shits keep coming, keep coming, keep fucking coming. So therefore, I'm going to always need money and I'm going to always need somebody busting them bills down. Never argue with someone who believe their own lies. Listen, people, when somebody have 
a poor imagination and their mind is set on lies and bullshit and they've been around negative energy all their motherfucking life. That's all they know. They don't know what it is to be positive. They might speak that positive shit, but guess what? Do they live it? No. Do they follow it? No. They might tell you they love God and God is everything to them, but you see otherwise. If you love God, why you ain't living like a godly man? Why you ain't doing what you got to do for your family? Godly people do godly things. You don't have to say you a godly man. People will see it. You don't even have to announce it. People will see the God in you naturally. So now we have the Ace of Pentacles and a reversal. The Ace of Pentacles is particular referred to material uh, possessions, things of it as a seed of your future fulfillment. Ace represent the first step to a goal. And being that it came on the reversal side, you should reconnect with the value you are trying to serve. Distinguish between one is, no, the distinguish between one is about to experience a moment of breakthrough, a windfall of abundancy, wise counsel, or good fortune can exist. Career opportunities, a lucrative contract, significant purchase like a home or vehicle, trust gold and custom jewelry. Okay, so the screen distinguish between true gold and custom jewelry. So you got to know the difference between gold and gold. God wants you to know the difference. Distinguish the difference between custom gold and real gold. You know the difference. We all do. Gold don't bling and shine like, you know what I'm saying? Some of them plastic shit, them shits be shining. Gold don't be shining that hard. Not like that. I'm not satisfied, but it's okay. Somebody not satisfied, but they okay with the, the situation. Somebody got a bad hair day. Definitely me. And guess what? This hairstyle I had in my hair, I paid 200 fucking dollars. And you see this little bit of root right here? This bitch better grow out to about here for my 200 motherfucking dollars. I don't give a damn what nobody got to say about my hair. I'm in the growing process. And when I take these braids out, my shit gonna be... Full, all the way down my back, shaking, jiggling, baby. I use braids for growth, not for looks. There's no other spiritual teacher than your own soul. That's right. Listen to your inner self. What did I say? Poor imagination. I already explained that. Eight of Swords reversal. Positive, confident, empowered. You have learned to accept the things you can't control and are ready to take on some new exciting challenges. That's right. New beginning. All right. Upstate New York. Somebody upstate New York could be watching. Be happy. Be yourself. If others don't like it, let them be. The gift of God, a child. You may be out of my sight, but never out of my mind. I miss you. Things and people change. And you know what? Life goes the hell on. Ball clear, downtown Brooklyn. Somebody needs to get out, go to a concert. And the bad habits. Stop eating too much sweets daily. Cut back, eat fruits and vegetables. If you don't get serious about your money you will never have serious money last messages always love your friends from your heart not from your mood or need communication is coming in communication is coming in somebody going to be calling you that you haven't heard from in a while this person 
probably want to meet up. So the signs that we have on board that we could possibly be talking about is a Virgo, uh, a fire Sagittarius, a Libra, Aquarius, Pisces is strong. Pisces is the strongest. Virgo is the next. And fire is the third. Hopefully you guys got some messages out of this reading. If you didn't, stay tuned for the next reading because I'm about to pull some more cards.